Hey, what's up guys? Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm back from my break. It's time to make some more videos. And uh, just now getting a reacquainted with my prison here. And I've started to expand down here. Make the other suburb, if you will. Uh, I've decided that this area here is going to be purely forestry. So there's going to be four segments of forestry here. And this one's still... Wait, why is this... Is this separated now? Wait, hold on. Forestry. Where is this? I know it's yellow. Yeah, the whole thing's designated as forestry, even though there's a path through here. That's kind of weird. Let's, let's maybe not have a path. Not, maybe not have the forestry on the path. Like that. And then like this. There we go. Four plots of forestry. That's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, and I think I'm also gonna to, gonna do is put this path like this, just because it looks. I, don't know, I think it looks better. Or not? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, hello, stutter. I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't think it really matters. Anyway, so I've been expanding, like I said. I've got some houses getting started to be built here. Uh, I've got one cell kind of done, although there's no like utilities ran to it or anything like yet. Uh, these buildings all need entrances. I want to keep people kind of away from the edge, and I'm a little bit... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking like I don't like these houses here now that I've already built them here. I'm going to leave them, but it's kind of a risk of escape with being so close. So I've gone ahead and I've expanded also this, um, this double wall. I've expanded this perimeter wall to have a double wall all the way down here. Because I think that'll help... I think that'll help delay people. And then I'm going to also have dogs running up and down here. I'm going to add a couple more, actually. Let's get a couple more dogs through here. And then I'm also going to need some routes for them. So, like, dog patrols. We can also have one that kind of goes like this. You know, and we'll put, like, a few of the dogs on this path. Just to sort of keep them to where they're always looking out, you know, for tunnels. And then if I start sniffing a tunnels right through here, then I know they've gotten through the first wall, and I know it's got to be one of these four houses or one of these six houses, you know. So that's kind of what I'm going to work on there. Uh, this is going to be canteen and yard area kind of over here. Uh, there's going to be laundry right here, and then we're just going to kind of keep expanding, you know. I might do like a school idea like I did over here. This place is done, aside from uh, here, because... Check out deployment really quick. This is a workshop. I think it's fully functional now. I don't see any reason why people can't work here. But I've got this shut off because I wasn't using it. And uh, just with the power switch. So that's why it doesn't have power. The utilities are ran to it already. We've got plenty of utilities. But the power stops right here. Because like the power switch is stopping it. And that's taking the load off of this. So I'm thinking once I turn this on, this power is probably going to jump up to be pretty much full. So... We'll add an extra capacitor here just to kind of get that going. And then I think I'm ready to turn this workshop on if I can. So let's switch this on. And there's the power. Are we still... Oh, we don't have it hooked up to this. Well, yeah, I guess that's a problem. I guess we'll do that. Uh, other than that... Are there even... Yeah, there's 12... How many more people can work here? We have 74 people qualified total. There's 20 in here, 20 in here, uh, 19 in here. So we have room for more, but there's also this workshop here, right? And I kind of want them to spend as much time over here as possible. So I think we're going to need, we're going to need some more people, uh, trained, you know, we're going to need some more classes on this stuff to get some more people working in these workshops. So let's take a look at programs really quick. We're at day 183. Still working on cell block E. This is the last uh, the last grant, sort of the last milestone in the game, if you will, is to get your prisoner capacity to 500. Uh, we're going to hit this right as like the series ends. We're going to hit this. We're at 468 right now, and I know I might, my prisoner count is way under capacity. I'm trying to keep the frame rates manageable. So once I get this all done, then I'll flip, it, flip this on, fill us up, and uh, the performance will probably suck at that point. But at least we'll, the prison will be done, so... I don't have to worry about that anymore. And at that point, the workmen are basically going to be purely on, you know, maintenance and forestry. So the exports will pick up our, our money. Wow. Wow, that was a big one. I don't even know if my recording cut out or not. That's going to be strange just to, to, to try and figure out. 
That was like a that was like a 20 second auto save. Um, a daily cash flow is a little low, and a lot of it's got to do with some repairs. We had a big riot. You can see there's a bunch of people in solitary right now. Had a big riot, and I, I don't mean a fight. I mean like there were 140 or so people rioting, and I had just started building this, and I was gonna just reload the save and be like, I don't want to deal with a riot right now. I'm trying to build my prison, but uh, we actually got it under control pretty quick. Only eight deaths. And I brought in the riot police, but, like, they got to about here on their way in. And uh, the crowd that was already fighting here had already worked their way out to try to escape this way. And so the riot police basically made a wall right here and then just stopped them all. And it was, it, it, it didn't last very long. And it was, like, 100-something so, people, but it didn't last very long. So I didn't bother with it. What is going on here? Oh, this is where those solitary cells were. And now it's vacant. Well, I could probably make another dormitory, but the thing is, I don't know if the dormitory idea is going to stay. I don't know if these are going to... I think I'm going to re... I think I'm going to rebuild these into cells like this. Let's just go ahead and do that now, actually. I'm going to get onto whatever that path is. Or, there's like a big tunnel over there somewhere that keeps, keeps bugging me. Should I just bulldoze the whole thing, or should I preserve this stuff? I feel like I don't care about the toilets. Um... Shower heads. I guess I could just dis it doesn't take that long to just dismantle things. So I guess I'll say dismantle on these because I'm gonna reuse them. Yeah, I'll just dismantle these, and once they're once they're dismantled, then I'll I'll just bulldoze the whole thing from there. We'll just kind of do let's just kind of do one of these numbers all the way down. Pretty much everything except the the beds. I don't care about the beds. Yeah, the lights, too. We can save the lights. Might as well. We're going to use them again. <laughs> I went from, I don't care, to saving pretty much everything in the cell. Uh, I don't know. My money flow is not that great right now. So having to buy all this stuff again, nah, not really into that. I am going to go ahead and bulldoze this area, though. Because I'm not sure I'm going to need it as far as foundation goes. If I have to lay it again, like, whatever. Don't care. Okay. Workmen, get on that. Now, what's going on with this tunnel? There's tons of flags right here. I know there's a tunnel in here, but I keep searching these cells. I just dug up a tunnel over here. These cells were digging this way, which I thought was a little bit strange. We got paving stone here that we're missing. I thought that was a little strange, but, like, okay. I guess you guys want to build... Well, they're probably trying to go this way and then out, but they're digging a tunnel. I don't understand why they don't just go to a straight line this way, but... Maybe it's somehow programmed into the game for them to follow paths around buildings. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably quicker to dig around the buildings than it is to try to dig through the foundation. That's probably what it is. So they dig around the foundation because it's faster. Either way, it's, it's going to get picked up. Okay, so I have to find this. I keep, I keep searching these cells. We're going to do another shakedown tonight, but I, I keep doing it, and it doesn't seem to matter all that much. Uh, also, I don't know. I, I don't know what I posted in the last videos. It's been a while since I've recorded, you know. And um, this is working really well. Exports being over here and garbage being on the same level, this is working really well. Um, they're, they're, the adequate amount of garbage is going out, kind of mixed in with the exports a little bit. And the really cool part is, if a truck stops here, it gets filled up with pre predominantly exports, and if it stops behind one, it gets filled up with mostly trash. So they just kind of go out and then reset. Which is kind of nice. So if there's only one truck here, it'll get mostly exports. If if this takes a while to fill up because the workmen are busy doing something else, uh, another truck will come in behind it, and then that truck will get almost always just get a whole bunch of garbage. So it's working out great. Uh, okay. So we're building this way, and this is how I've been doing these cells. It's really a time it takes a lot of time to do this. Um, I basically just start with like a 5x6 or a 5x5 or a 6x6, something like that. It depends on what the, what the design is going to be that I'm working on. So I'm going to say like this and then maybe kind of do one of these numbers. I don't know, just something different. Move over a couple of squares and repeat. So like something like this, maybe we'll go like that. You know, that's a house. Good, fine. Uh, maybe we'll do something a little bit more creative now. Maybe we'll take like, we'll do like a 7x7 seven seven plot, but instead of, you know, we'll, we'll kind of cut in a little bit like this maybe. Uh, and then maybe take that corner out. Something weird. You know, whatever. It's cool. 
And then, you know, same thing. Just kind of, maybe I take this corner off, and I also take this corner off, and I take this corner off. Yeah, there's a house. <laughs> it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to look different and unique. And it's just something, it's just something different, guys. That's all it is. All right, everybody is on sleep time now, which means we're doing a shakedown. I want everything searched. I haven't done a shakedown in forever. There's over 4,000 places to check. So this is going to take a long time. So when you're going to do a shakedown in this prison, you got to start early because it takes forever to get through like everything, right? And I've got a lot of guards, 362 total guards. So they'll get through these places pretty quickly, like relatively to like a re another prison, but there's still a lot of walking around because everything's kind of spaced out being the outdoor, the outdoor prison idea and everything. It's everything's kind of spaced out. So even though like this area here will go really quickly because there's a lot of cells in a small area and they can just, you know, pop through two or three at a time really quickly. But like, then you get down to like over here and guards have to travel. There's a lot of walking between cells, you know, uh, this doesn't have water. Hold on. Stop. This doesn't have water. Why? What's wrong with me? What is the matter with me? This man needs water now. <laughs> uh, should I go this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna... See, the thing is, like, I could go this way, which seems like a lot of pipe. Uh, but... Wait, what's supposed to be in this room? What is this room supposed to be? Did I forget? I forgot what this was supposed to be. I kind of feel like it should be laundry. What's the needs like? Yeah, look at this. Spirituality need is ridiculous. Wow. Oh, we're going to need more chapels. We're definitely going to need more chapels. Hmm. Uh, this chapel up here, actually, I had to rebuild it. You remember it might, it was, it was like shaped like a cross, kind of. Um, yeah, not really, but close enough. I had to expand it out and put corners like this because the room requirement says it wasn't six by six. And now it's saying it again. But I think that's because I don't have the room. Hold on. Chapel, chapel. Here we go. Yeah, the corners aren't part of the room. So if I add the corners to the room, I bet that requirement goes away. Uh, and then we'll have a chapel, which is good. And then we also want materials. We also want a floor. What kind of floor do we want in the chapel? Kind of want something different than the cells. And the cells have this mosaic floor, I think. Isn't that what I gave them? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of gave them that floor. These ones don't have the flooring. I gotta do that yet. Apparently, I already have it here. It's bizarre. It doesn't look like it. Uh, is this not foundation? Wait a minute. It's not foundation right there. That's strange. Wait, no. Is it the right flooring and I just can't tell? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. So we'll get on doing that. I think this is gonna just get like a fancy floor or something. I don't know. Fancy tiles is fine. Something different. Whatever, it's fine. So though they'll have a chapel over there, but like that's still a huge trek for most people. So where is this tunnel? We've searched these cells so many times. It just does not. All of you, all these toilets are gonna have to be dismantled, which is really unfortunate because I want my workmen off doing other things not dismantling toilets, but like, I gotta find this tunnel. It's here somewhere, I gotta find it. So dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. It's a very elusive tunnel. I've been chasing it for about a half hour right now. Apparently not doing a very good job on the chase. I'm gonna dismantle these too. Let's tell them to hurry up on that. There it is. Is that it? That's it? I have, I expected something like, you know, all over the place. Don't, I don't want you to do that anymore. Do not dismantle those, to those toilets. Huh. That's it. Very elusive tunnel. Yeah, all right. I guess sometimes the smaller ones are the more elusive ones because like if they're really if they cover a huge area it's probably easier to like get lucky and spot it. 
there's a lot of toilets involved in it, it's easier to spot it, but, okay. Let's remove this, remove the tunnels. There we go. All right, so, anyway. Yeah, and that's another thing that's making this really, like, take a long time to build, is the fact that it's, like, uh, it's a lot of building to do, but then you have to stop and, like, manage the prison, too, because it's not just an architect, it's management as well. Uh, there was a, this guy. This, uh, sniper here has got an armory next to him now, but I wasn't gonna be able to make the hot water go far enough, so I think what I have to do is I'm gonna have to put a hot water boiler somewhere. I'm not surely sure where that could go. Could this be a laundry too? I really wish I could remember what I had designated for these rooms. I think this was going to be a common room, but like this one's already a common room. I think originally what I was going to do is have this be a really big laundry and then this would be a common room, but now I might reverse it and do the other way. Or not. This is a staff door. This has no door at all. <laughs> Okay, this is this is definitely a common room. I'm thinking this is going to be laundry. So let's get rid of this door, and then I'm going to need what am I going to need? Ironing boards, like for days is what I'm going to need. Uh, let's go like this, and then I think if I lay this opposite, it's still shows the same direction on the sprite it's like it's still going to show that it's facing that way but because i flipped it they'll actually start using it from the other side i think that's how that works now this side i have no idea uh, i'm gonna just try it and see what happens all right and then i can also put another one i think like this it doesn't look very organized but it's something you know and then let's put laundry machines along this side here. I'll just use three of them for now, I think. I don't think I need more than that. I will do four. There's a lot of ironing boards, but I don't really care. Laundry baskets. We're going to place like two of them in here. Yeah, three. Whatever. It's fine. And then let's put the door next to this one. We'll just kind of say that. Okay, all that stuff needs to be put in. And if we get little warning blips on these ironing boards that are next to the wall, then we'll just... We'll just flip them. We'll just put them in the other way. The other direction. The fence for this park has been deleted. Why? Why has my park fence been deleted? When did that happen? Um. I think it's like this. And then, actually... Let's kind of do like this. There's an entrance over here and then an entrance over here. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. I, I, thought, I liked my fence. I'm not sure why the fence was taken away. Maybe I did that a long time ago and just didn't. Like maybe I'm changing my mind after being away from the project for so long. I don't know. That happens a lot, especially, and I'm not saying I'm that creative or anything, but um, I, I work in a creative industry and it's inherently, video production is inherently uh, a creative industry. And this happens a lot. You, you'll do something that you think is a really good idea. And I've actually made this a standard practice for my own, like a policy for myself to do this. And it sometimes my clients don't like it, but I think the end result is always better, always. Um, Actually, let's not do that yet, because I'm not sure about these cells. These are all done? Yeah, these are all done. There's a shower head there, but uh, I don't care. Let's bulldoze all this. The problem with this bulldoze is that it's going to create a lot of trash. Um, should I do one, two, three? Actually, this is already kind of the right size. So, actually, you know what? If I was to just put a wall up the middle of these, then I have these cells. And then we don't have to demolish hardly anything. Hmm. Yeah, actually, that's a better idea. If we just take out these walls, like this, and leave the foundation, but take out these walls, what I'm left with, basically, is just draw these brick walls up like this. Right? If I do this, you can just go all the way straight through, really. Um, 
then what I left with is essentially the same layout as these cells down here, which is perfect because I think I need more of them. But now I'm going to run into a shower problem. Well, maybe not. Yeah, these ones here, these ones have their own shower, so this one's fine. These are one, two, three, four deep. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That makes me happy. And we'll just redraw them as cells later, but uh, we want to dismantle all of the objects then. Uh, we'll leave... That shower's probably not in the right... No, it's not in the right place, so we'll have to dismantle, demolish that. Dismantle that. But I think I'm going to actually go ahead and just... Uh, can I sell the beds? No. Then, yeah, I guess I'll just dump them. Is there a dump button? Like a dump tool? I don't think so. No. There's a clear indoor area tool. Maybe that's the dump tool. I think that's the dump tool. If I just kind of do this, this will get rid of everything, like the bed and stuff. It also gets rid of the room designation too. So that helps. Hello, game. Uh-huh. Get rid of all this. And we're good to go. Does create a little bit of trash. But I think it'll be worth it. And then once those cells are in place, I think our, our capacity goes up above uh, above 500. And then we'll clear that, we'll clear that, that way. Even if, even if it doesn't, I mean, we're going to have... These are all going to be cells down here, too. So that's going to clear it, too. There's easily enough room. This whole area here, there's not a whole lot of prisoners over here. There's a lot of space, not a whole lot of people, and that's that's how the suburbs work. That's how the, the wealthy live. There's a whole bunch of space and not a whole lot of people in that space. It's kind of the same way in farmlands, too. Um, farm country. Except they're kind of doing something with that land. They're kind of, you know, making food for people to where the wealthy are just sort of, I don't know, sitting on their boats. There's that right there. That's good. Uh, we need... We need water through there. So I guess we'll run a water line all the way out to there. This needs water anyway. That works for me. Yep. Cool. Okie dokie. This is going to be our school. Now, I said it was going to be a basketball court here. So let's get that. I'm not sure about... I, what I wanted to do is have a game court where, like, where people can gather and... Uh, gather and watch the game, but also have a couple of practice courts at the same time. So I'm not sure there's enough room in here, but we're going to give it a try. So full court league. Yeah, uh, the full court league, I think should be like here. Uh, there's four on that side and five on that side. There should be more room on the side of the door, I think. So let's kind of go down one and we'll put this court here. And then I think uh, th this only shows the first half of the full court. But once the workmen lay this in, it will actually have the other side of the court in it. So it'll actually put this other side in when it does that. There, there it is already. Yeah? Okay. Um, so that's our full court game, which is cool. And then we can have a couple of practice courts over here too. So I'm thinking like half court training. That's pretty good. Do some half court training. Uh, can do like maybe here. It'll leave a space, I guess. Leave a little bit of a space. Put it like here. And then I don't want it to look like another court. But it's going to. Oh, I don't have quite enough room to do that. Okay, maybe we go. Hmm. I could technically do it here. What if I just did it like this. It's gonna look it's gonna look funny because I kind of wanted the. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna do it like this. Ah, it doesn't have enough room for that either. Darn it! What do you want, Chief? Discover that one of the teachers we bring in has been bringing contraband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's fine. There's, I'll do a shakedown tonight. Big deal. All right. Well, I can't have my practice courts in like I wanted. That's disappointing. Because there's this extra room. It's got to go on this. I wonder if I just forego the extra room. Like, if I just say, screw that extra room. I don't care about it. 
I can do this, right? That's gonna look like two separate chords, and I kind of like that. I kind of because it is a practice chord. It's not, it's not a full chord. That might annoy some people. <laughs> it's starting to annoy me just looking at it. It's like, no, why did you split the chord? I don't know. I just did. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna split the chord. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm looking at it and I hate it. I can't do it. Let's just do it like this then. Like that. So now it looks like a full court, but it it's actually two separate courts and they're for practices here. Um, these are classrooms here. I don't have the offices for the basketball trainers. So that's gonna go over here. But first, let's pause. We've got lots of blips going on. Hello. Contraband over here, that's caught, that's caught. These guys are having fights in the chapel of all places, you guys. I gave you a spirituality need, and this is how you repay me. Uh, I think they're mad because of their gang leader. I think it's this guy. You are the gang leader, aren't you? You're almost out of here, look at this, another one. Another gang leader almost out of here. Pretty sure this is him. Yep, that's the new blue, blue leader. Ah, uh, 31, 26, 27, gangs do not own any territory, and that's hopefully the way that that will stay for quite a while. Uh, but he's in trouble, and that's why they're kicking off right now, so. Solitary, let's get rid of him. And lockdown, let's get rid of that. Should be going back down? Yes, okay, good. Mm, okay. Now, he just keeps destroying things. He's not killing anyone, and that is why his sentence is not getting increased. That was one of the things that was wrong with Scott Gordon is that he was extremely deadly as well. And he was an expert fighter to where this one here is not any of those things, right? He's very volatile and tough and strong, but he's not an expert fighter and he's not extremely deadly. And so he doesn't have, I mean, he does, he can kill people. He's not like he's incapable of it, but he hasn't killed anyone yet. Um, all he's doing is destruction and destroying things doesn't extend your sentence. So he could get out of here in like eight days. I think it's 0.1 years for every day-night cycle in the game. So eight days, he could get out of here if he doesn't kick, if he doesn't like harm anyone. And then where's the other gang leader? It's Brown. Now Brown is another really smart guy. He's got a little bit longer to stay, but he's not extending his sentence. He's actually only, he hasn't even destroyed anything. He's very passive. Extremely tough, extremely strong, but not extremely volatile. So as long as you take care of his needs, there's no reason for him to kick off. And as you can see, he's also in a nice cell, which means his needs have been met. Is this the highest quality cell in the prison right here? It's a four. He's entitled to a two, which is interesting. He must have tried to escape recently. There are no twos in the prison. So he should, if the prison grading, if the room grading thing works the way I, I think it does, he should be over here in the ones because he shouldn't get a cell that's better than his rating. But he's in a four, which I guess is the lowest quality of all these. So like, I guess there's a little bit of justice. As long as he doesn't cost me money, I don't care where he stays. Like that's pretty much it. Uh, I had another comment that was telling me that I should just sell these, right? Like not export them, but just sell them, right? Use the sell tool, or is it sell object and just like start clicking these like, like that, you know? The thing is, I, it, I think that's like not the way it's supposed to be, you know, like, yeah, I could do that. Sure. It is something I can do, but I want the logistics of this to work. Right? Like I'm wanting to have everything just work itself out. I'm not, I don't want to micromanage it to the point where I'm clicking on each individual things I want to sell. I want to set up a system that just kind of efficiently does what it's supposed to do. And when I say it's supposed to do, I mean, what I want to do, not what the game is supposed to work as, right? There's a lot of things that I probably wish that would happen, like think that it will happen, but it won't because that's not the way the game is designed. But there's a lot of things like that that happen, and that's just the way it is, you know, whatever, I'll get over it, not a big deal. But uh, like, like the mailroom situation, I have no idea why that doesn't work, but it just doesn't. So like, I'm not gonna have one, there it is. It's here, but it's not designated as a mailroom, so nobody's using it. Okay, and that also prevents the mail because then the unread mail doesn't come in. When you have a mail room, then unread mail will get delivered. But if you don't have a mail room, like I have the room set up with the desks and everything, but as long as I don't designate it as a, as a mail room, no, no letters will get delivered. And so I, I don't have the trash building up at that point. Okay. 
cool. Well, anyway, yep, this is basically a recap and welcome back video. <laughs> That's kind of what we're doing here. And uh, we have our basketball court set up, which is kind of nice. We need to get the the coaches offices set up too. I think I'm just going to expand on the same building. This is kind of way schools are anyway. They're just they're just kind of all one building. So I think I'll expand on it down here. Let's plan this out so I have enough room. Offices have to be 4x4. Four four. Looks like 4x4. Four four. Yeah. So since offices have to be 4x4, four four, what we could do is if I put the wall here, we could one have a hallway yeah we'll have a we'll have a hallway through here so let's just mark this out let's have like a two wide hallway right and then so the offices will be here so it'll be one two three four wall right but like so here's one office one two three four wall one two three four wall one two three four Wall. I will just have three. Should I have three? Yeah, one for each training court and then one for the full court. So there'll be three coaches. And they all have like their own place over here. And then we need a staff room over here too. Which is unfortunate. Because we don't have the staff needs thing working. Maybe I'll make this the staff room. It's a nice square building. Could work out. Yeah. This could be a staff room right here. Because it's not, like, there's nothing happening here anyway, so. Let's put a staff door there, and, like, we'll put another staff door over here or something. And then we'll fill this with um, sofa and drink machine. The drink machine's, like, over here or something. Like, a couple of sofas. It's whatever. I know it doesn't matter, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, and then let's make this a wooden floor because I want them to have it. But they won't do it until the foundation is laid, so I'll have to wait for that. Speed it up, people. Let's do it. Uh, same thing over here. Let's get this. Let's get this started too. We're gonna go with a uh, yep building. This does not break the outdoor prison idea because it's all part of the school. It's all one building. This is the way the schools are. The schools are all one building. So does not break the doesn't break the rules by having all the offices inside sort of like a well it's sort of like this building here this is like your welcome building right this is all one structure right so there's a sort of like your initiation welcome building is all one thing but then it goes into the town after that right? so uh and then these this here is all one building too but the doors for every building is always outside so like they can't get through here i would have actually I thought about that. I thought about putting a door here because that would let the staff that are in here get into the canteen really quickly. Um, and, and I might still do that. It doesn't really... If there's a fight in here, then these guys are going to have to come out and go all the way around to get in to where if there's like that, then they could just get in. And I, I think that's probably better. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I think so. Uh... Well, as long as I can get this stuff. I mean, I have to get this stuff done, but... Workmen are going to get on it. They're going to do it. It's just a matter of time, so... got Yeah, we got the staff room here. It needs power. Go ahead and get that. Just kind of maybe draw that up from there. No big deal. This will have power, yeah, but the offices won't, so let's just kind of maybe drag that through there like that. And then that will do it. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Subscribe if you're not already. It's going to be great. And also, we're starting as soon as Prison Architect is over with. I, I really, I, I might overlap it a little bit just because that's a real big impulse. It's a really big, really big urge to play. Like, if there's one of those, you know, you know, people who play games, you know. You have, like, this thing where you're like, oh, my God, just, I need to boot this up. I need to play this now. That's my urge with XCOM right now, guys. It is, like, it's, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> uh, so I might overlap a little bit. Uh, but basically, XCOM is going to replace Prison Architect as far as the time slot goes. And then um, RimWorld might be coming to a close pretty quickly here. I don't know if we're going to survive. Um, if we if we don't survive, I might start up another one just to kind of be like, hey, how about we try this again? Um, I almost certainly will do that. But uh, XCOM for a little bit is going to take up that slot too so because it's going to be a long series and it's going to be a lot of fun. And I like it. So if you haven't heard about that, go check out the latest video before this one. Uh, I announced it, and uh, that's going to do it. Longest outro ever. 
but this is the first video I've recorded since I've been back, so, you know, my brain is not attuned to my efficiency of, my old efficiencies. Look at the exports, they're empty now. Perfect. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.